Hi everyone. Today in this video, we will be talking about how to install and authorize Blackthorn events and payments applications. This is the very first step that you will take to start building events in your Salesforce org. To start with installation, you can find our apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. In order to use Blackthorn events, you must install both payments and events applications. The reason for this is that our payments application came first and contains a lot of objects that our events app is dependent upon. Whether you create free or paid events, you will use both apps. A Salesforce administrator needs to install the payments app first, followed by the events app. Otherwise, you will receive a failed to install notification. Note that installing can take up to 15 minutes to complete. Once the packages have successfully been installed, you can navigate to the App Launcher to see your new Blackthorn apps. There are a total of six applications that are added to your App Launcher. The blue logo represents the events applications and the pink logo represents the payments apps. Today, we are going to configure the Blackthorn Payments Admin app and the Events Admin app. We'll start by configuring the Payments Admin app. There is a tab called Blackthorn Payments Setup Wizard here, which drops us into this nice flow where we'll establish the connection between our payment gateway account and the Salesforce org. Let's get started. We currently support Stripe and Authorize.net connections. If you don't have a Payment Gateway account yet, you can either skip this step or set up a test mode through Stripe. I'm going to select Stripe and test mode for now because I want to create some events that are paid, but I don't want to use real credit card or information while demoing. Now I'll hit connect. Notice that a new tab opens and I am brought to a Stripe account information page where I can enter in my account details. Since I don't have an account yet and I just want to use a test account, I'm going to select skip this account form. Notice we are back in our payment setup wizard where we can continue on with our steps. At this point, we are going to grant access so that an endpoint can be created for Blackthorn payments, where essentially we'll be able to work with the Salesforce metadata API. Since we granted access, we're now able to proceed with creating Blackthorn record types, permission sets, and relationships. So as I go through this, I'm going to just select make magic happen. Now we're going to be allowing permission sets. And finally, on the transaction relationship step, we are basically going to be picking an object or a few that we would like to have a lookup relationship with the transaction records. In this case, I'm going to select Opportunity. Lastly, you do have the option to learn more about Paylink and you can install the package. For today, I'm just going to select Continue. And finally, we are through our setup wizard. You can select Show Me My First Transaction to exit out of this setup wizard. And you can see our first test transaction. Now that the Payments app is configured, we can move along to authorizing the Events Admin app. Navigate to the Blackthorn Events Admin tab, and we'll notice there's an Authorize the App button. An administrator or system integration user should click this button. This authorization allows the org to connect with a third-party app called Heroku, which surfaces all of Blackthorn's event page URLs. Make sure you are not logged into any other Salesforce environments while you action this button to ensure the appropriate org is authorized.
Now that the Events app is authorized and the Payment Setup Wizard is complete with a test payment gateway record, you can dive into building free and paid events. Thanks for watching.